Praxis, and today I'm back on site doing a little bit more work. If you uh, check over to your left over there, you can see some bricks are laid out around the post area. I'm starting to try to calculate exactly how many bricks I need uh, so I can go out and you know, buy a proper number to, to fill in that area. Uh, what I'm working on right here, though, is this, uh, this closet area. Uh, this is going to be tucked right behind the door. This is going to be a place where we can put clo uh, coats and things when you first come in. There'll be another closet underneath the stairs, but uh, you know I think this will be a you know this will be a nice big one. Uh, also, we're going to have gray water stuff up here. There's a space left behind the plumbing there where we can put a gray water tank uh, that will be used for flushing toilets, and it'll be, have like an overflow out to the greenhouse. So anyway, I've been just laying this out, figuring out exactly where I want this to be. I'm considering the swing of the door. I wanted to make sure it wasn't out so far that it made the door so that you felt like the door couldn't open all the way. I kind of sketched out where the door handle was going to be, and I feel like this is going to be a pretty nice place, and it'll just kind of box right in around this area. So anyway, I'm firing this uh, pressure treated wood down into the floor using the ram set again. And uh, bec for a couple of reasons, I I'm doing this a little bit differently. Uh, one, you'll notice this is one complete contiguous board uh, here. Uh, normally you'd have like one run and then another run. I cut this out of one piece of wood. Uh, and the reason for that is I've got this seam running under the floor right here. So I'm kind of limited as to where I can fire these nails in, because if you put a nail right next to the seam, it's going to just blow the chunks of the seam open, and you're not going to get a grab, and it's going to crack your floor. So I'm trying to keep the nails kind of on one side. So as much as I could make this, uh, you know, just be one piece to try to stabilize it, so these nails here are helping to stabilize the whole piece, uh, you know, the better. Uh, also, um, because I'm kind of close to the edges, especially out over here, I've pre-drilled using a, uh, a little drill the holes that I'm firing the nails into, and that's to make it so that the wood doesn't split. A place like this, right out near the end, this would be really prone to splitting. So I've pre-drilled the holes, and what I'm doing differently is instead of putting the nail into the ram set, I'm placing the nail down into the hole that I drilled, taking the charge, and this is a, a lower power charge. Uh, I've been using number four charges. These are number three charges. Oop, before I do that, I should put these guys on. And uh, uh, pre-drilling the holes also allows me to fire the nail in a little bit deeper than I would be otherwise able, given that this is a lower power charge. River's with me here today, so I'm just going to give him a warning. You ready to cover your ears? Okay. Put that down there, and even with this, it's probably not going to fire all the way in, and I'm going to have to tap it a little more. So here we go. All right, there we go. That one set pretty well, but still needs a little hammering. It's up a bit, so I'm just going to just light taps. We go. So we've got nail, 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 and then I've got a couple nails going just into the wood I hammered in like that, and I'll stop yelling by taking that off. So uh, I'm just going to finish out the bottom of this today and then see about getting the, uh, the walls in. Uh, one thing I had to make sure also is that I made it so the wall covered up these pipes as opposed to having the wall you know, be part way through the pipe. So be bringing the wall up, get it boxed in, and uh, yeah, just every day getting a little bit done so that you know every day I come back, we're a little closer to our goal than we were the day before. That's it. Thanks for watching.